In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a soft color toning in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retail Pro. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a soft color toning in Photoshop. It's a super easy technique and anyone can do it. Also a big thanks again to Yvonne Fight Photography. She sponsored today's image. Have a look, her links are in the description down below. She's an amazing photographer. Great, so let's get right away into the tutorials. Okay, so as you guys can see again, right away in Photoshop and on our layers palette, you guys can see that I've worked already a little bit on this, just the dodge and burn process. But we're starting right away out with some good saturated colors here. Again, nice skin tone colors and also really good contrast here. So starting right with that, first step that I did is basically just added a dodge and burn layer here just to give it a bit more pop. And for all of you who are new to this, you can find more about Dodge and Burn again on the channel. That's why I don't want to show this effect again today. All right, so we did a little bit of Dodge and Burn. We're going to start now right away from Dodge and Burn layer. So first step, Command, Alt, Shift, and E, Master Shortcut. So we're merging all together because from here we're going to go right away into a plugin. Up to Filter, and the plugin is called Nick Software Color FX Pro 4. So my first step that I want to do now is just add a little bit of a glamour glow to the skin to make it a bit more softer and a bit more whitish. So again, on the left hand side, you guys can see here are all the presets. I'm going to go to glamour glow and right away we get a pretty much normal standard effect here. Let's maybe hit, head over here and just compare stuff. So we got a split screen so we can actually see the before and after. So this is the after and this is the before. I'm going to move this a little bit to the side and first of all do a few adjustments here. So right away with the glow I want to push the glow up just a little bit more. So I normally tend to go between 30 to 40 percent. So let's maybe go with 39, 38, that looks good enough but I still want to tweak the saturation and the glow warmth. Okay so let's also take the saturation down a little bit since it's so heavy saturated so maybe just like to a minus 37, 36 that looks good and let's also warm up or actually cool down now the glow warmth here. So we're just getting a little bit of a whitish skin out of this. Okay so I'm going to take the warmth a little bit down, a little bit to the cooler side and not too much actually, maybe just like a minus 7 or 8. Yeah, like a minus 8, that's good for me. Okay, so I also do want to push the shadows a little bit more. Let's maybe just take the centerpiece here and have a look, a quick after, or this is the before and after, before and after. So I want to push the shadows up a little bit more, something around 60%, brightening those up really nicely. 65%, that's actually good. Okay, highlights, I don't want to play with these, otherwise the highlights are going to blow out completely. So I'm going to stick with the same highlight settings that we have, which is 44%. Okay, and again, after and before, after and before. And it looks still a little bit too strong, but bear in mind, in the layer opacity, again, I'm going to just take the opacity down a bit. So I'm going to hit OK, take that right away into Photoshop. And now we're back in Photoshop. You guys can see the skin pops really nicely, nice and bright there, but it's still a little bit too intense. I'm going to take it down maybe just to like a 70%. Yeah, that looks a bit better and a little bit softer as well. Okay, so right away we've got it obviously everywhere. We don't want to apply this to the eyes and mouth. I just want to apply this to the skin. So let's create a mask right away on this. So we're going to move all the way down to the mask icon. Hold Alt now so we can hide the mask and invert it. So it's basically black. As you guys can see over here, the mask is black. So this means it's hidden now. Again, I'm going to go over to the brush. And let's take 100% opacity, that's good. Flow 60, that's as well good. And just we have to change the foreground colors to white. Okay, I'm going to hold Control Alt on the keyboard, move with my pen left and right to see the featherness. So basically, here if I go up and down, change the hardness completely to soft. And as well, I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet. So why am I a tablet? I've got a little wheel and I can change my brush size really quickly. So I'm painting this in. If you guys want to find more about this tablet, have a look in the description. I've linked it there for you guys. So basically, I'm just brushing out now these areas here from her skin. And I'm just not including the hairs and also lips, eyes, all of that nice stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go roughly over her arm, okay, and continue a little bit more, and just softly brushing over this. 
Okay, a little bit more over here. Okay, so we've applied the mask really quickly. As well, what I want to do is just correct my mask. So I'm gonna turn off all of this. Let's maybe turn the mask up again with opacity. And we can really quickly go in here and just fix all the areas that we have forgotten. As well, I don't wanna include the bra too much. That's why I have left this out. Great, so that's okay. A little bit the hair here and the sides, that's all okay. Great, so our mask, I painted this obviously super quickly, so take a bit more time when you do this. Great, so that's okay. Maybe the eyes here, not too much. Good, okay, so let's turn everything on again. And for the next step I want to do is obviously, first of all, take the opacity down again, 71 or 70%, and right away create a bit of a curves adjustment layer just to flatten the blacks of the shadows actually a little bit more. So again, I'm gonna head back to adjustments, I'm going to select a curves adjustment layer over here. I'm going to make a bit of space. And I'm going to set a few anchor points first of all. So right away here I'm going to put a dot. Okay, and another one over here. So we're not affecting the curve at all. It's still sticking pretty much with the same root. I'm going to put another anchor point down here. And move this up again a little bit just to flatten the whites a little bit. Basically the blacks. Okay, a little bit more up, and again, move this up a little bit more, not too much, maybe this a little bit more, and you guys can already see how that is affecting our blacks over here. And I pretty much showed this effect also before in a faded Photoshop tutorial, it's also on the channel again. Okay, so that's basically just another effect, just adding a bit of a faded effect here to the blacks, making them, them a little bit more flatter. And for the next step that I want to do is basically add again a gradient mask or just a gradient adjustment layer. Let's move this up again. I'm gonna move it all the way down to our adjustment layers and add a gradient over here. Okay, so the gradient fill comes up. We're gonna first of all select our gradient, which will be this one over here, a little bit of an orange and purple effect. Okay, great, let's hit accept that. And as well, I'm gonna change the angle over here. So we got some orange on the left-hand side and a little bit of purple here. Let's go down a bit more, something like that. Yep, a little bit more. Okay, and then again, obviously, we can still tweak with just the pen right away on the canvas. Again, how much orange do you want, how much purple? And this we're gonna determine once we have our, our main effect, actually. I'm gonna hit OK, and bear in mind, this is an adjustment layer, so you can always double click on here and get back onto the canvas. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and change the blending options now all the way to soft light, and it was and as well as you guys can see it's still too strong so I'm going to take the opacity all the way down to like just 5 or 10 percent let's have a look 15 percent that's also really nice double click again onto the adjustment layer and now we're going to tweak how much orange you want to see or how much blue again okay so I'm going to actually keep it like this have a look here a little bit less orange yep okay and I still want to try also now another effect just with color options. So with color options it actually looks a bit nicer, a little bit more purple in there, a little bit orange over here and you can still tweak the opacity a bit more. Okay, let's double tap on that again and again we're going to tweak just the gradient a bit more like so and that's nice. Okay, so that's basically the whole effect and if you want to make the whole faded effect a bit stronger you can simply just duplicate the curves layer again with command J. So there you guys go, a little bit of a harder faded effect here again. You can obviously still tweak that again with the opacity also down a bit so you get something in between of those. Yeah, and that's the whole effect actually. Let's maybe combine all, everything here into a group. I'm going to press Command G, select all the layers obviously, and just write effect again. And you guys can quickly have a look at our before and after. So this is again our before and after before and after. Okay, so as you guys can see, soft color toning, super easy, anyone can do it. Now, if you guys like this episode, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click right here at the top. Also, if you want to check out more pro tutorials, textures, and other great stuff, head over to Retail Pro down below. Then as well, something from last week over here, and on the right hand side as well, more on the channel. So thanks again guys for watching, don't forget Photoshop is for anyone, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.